Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I wanted to shoot just a quick little video on the TOS platform. Hope you guys can see this here. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit further. Um, but this is just two charts. Um, you know, they have a really cool platform for overall trading or charting or, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, in order to use their software, you are going to have to have an account, from my understanding. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I think that is that is the case there. But uh, needless to say, you know, I just want to show quickly how to, you know, put these different marks and put these different drawings on your on your screen. So very simple video, um, but pretty much what they are is the previous close. So you know, when I'm looking at a chart, I like to look at what it previously closed and what the previous low of the day was. Why oh, it's taking so long to go back here? Uh, but going back on the spy chart, maybe, yeah, so we can see that it closed right around, you know, the 381.78. And then, like, the low of the day, there was a big sell off in the morning. Yeah, so 377. So I just wanted to mark those two just, you know, whenever I'm watching the charts today, that I can see those levels. And pretty much all you have to do. To add those, I'll go ahead and delete this, but to add those, you right click on the screen, click add drawing, and then this is price level. So you click price level, and then click where you want it to start at, and then my setting is where I have, an ex I have it like extended, right extension, and then you can name it um, whatever you want. Previous day low. Previous day low, and then I do want to show the price, so we'll do on the left, and I do want to show the name on the on the left, and then I like to make it a little bit bigger, and then you know you can customize it to whatever color you want. And click boom. Okay, so it's so cool. So you can quickly see. Okay, yesterday the previous low was right around the 378 mark for SPY. Um, it got pretty close to that this morning. Looked like it got 378.19, but then it had a nice bounce. Um, Still overall red on the day. Um, it looks like it was, you know, going to rally a little bit. Looks like a little bit of consolidation here. But, but yeah, that's, I mean, then the same thing for the top pop part as well. You go to look at the previous close. Um, and then you can just create, you know, this red little display. So you can quickly reference it. Um, by all means, you know, you know, make sure to you do your own research. This isn't financial advice. This is just... You know what what I currently do um, and then you could also create marks so like if you want to say all right this is going to drop let's create an alert at or below 38020 or, or whatever you know so if it drops below 38020 I'm gonna get a notification um, you know they send text messages emails so however you want to get that set up getting pretty close to that le that level there and then boom it just hit it and I got a notification sent to my phone and my email so yeah so there's so many different additional things you can do with thinkorswim i'm still trying to learn uh learn up on a good bit of it um but yeah i just wanted to shoot a quick little video talking about you know adding these price channels um, actually these are the price channels if you click on that that's another study you can add just kind of showing you where it's been at um, you know, on the top end and on the bottom end, price channel wise. And to do that, you just right click and click add study, come here, go to add study, and then go to, uh, I typically just go to all studies and then pricing channel. That's what I do to add that. And that's just like the top end and the bottom end. Looks like we are going to move down here. One, two, three three, four, five candles um, in the downward direction. So definitely going to keep out, keep an eye out for this to see where the overall market goes today. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I just want to shoot a quick one uh, talking about, you know, think or swim and my journey learning all of the many features that are available on this platform. So yeah, definitely go check it out. Um, they have a paper trading option as well uh, to get used to their platform. So if you're new to it, have no idea what you're doing, that could be a great place to start. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Hope this provided some type of value for you. 
Um, feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.